My name is Sean Sanders, and I'm going to be interviewing a student from Eastern Washington University about discrimination. My name is George Lee. I'm a junior here at Eastern. George, could you tell me an instance in which you were discriminated against here on campus? I was taking a math 104 class, and it was the first day of class, and I was sitting next to somebody, and this person said, wait, aren't you supposed to be good at math? I mean, you're Asian, you're supposed to be good at math. And I told him, I said, I said, well, I said, not every, not every agent is good at math. He then proceeded to tell me, well, you must be dumb. Man. And I said, okay, whatever you wish to think, but you know, I'm not dumb. So how did that situation affect you? How did it make you feel? What was the aftermath of that situation? Well, I take math based on what I what I know I can do and I do at my own pace. I don't need somebody else to tell me, you know, where I should be, you know, as far as what class I take. That's not for them to decide. That's between me and my advisor, me and my parents, depending. That's between me. Nothing to do with them. I felt pretty, you know, I, I don't feel pissed because people have been saying that to me for the longest time. But I definitely felt like in a college campus, people should be more mature than that. And that was kind of. I didn't like the fact that college kids would just say such things to people. You know, if this were a high school, middle school, like elementary school, you haven't really learned anything. You haven't really learned anything, you know, like when you're younger, so you don't really know, like, what that's rude. But now that you've been here for at least 18 or 19 years, you should at least have more decency to be nice to people. Um, are your feelings now about that situation different from how you felt when that situation happened? Yes, well now I'm just more accepting. If you say things to me, I'm not going to be as easily annoyed as I was back then. I'm going to basically just let it be because why? I have people that take care of me, care about me. I don't need people, random people that tell me how to think, tell me what my life's like, tell me how to do things. You know, you want to be rude to me, you want to discriminate, that's fine. Just don't make it too bad. You know, I'm saying I'm not good at math. I guess it's not as serious as some discrimination can be, and so I feel like, you know, it's okay, I can do it, I'm not going to be super pissed. Say something more serious, I'm going to have to take more offense to it. But such things that are, that are this small, it's not really worth worrying about. Even though you think this situation is small, and um, you said you are more accepting of things that people might say in that subject where you're supposed to be able to know math because you are a certain race. Um, do you still think that's okay? Do you think it's okay for people to say that? No, I don't think it's okay to say that because obviously everyone's different. You know, not everyone, you know, is good at a certain subject of, like when you're born. Some people are good, at th you know, some people are good at things when they're born and others are not. Like Bill Gates super good with computers and Steve Jobs great with computers. Mm -hmm. Right, and I guarantee you that they were probably born, probably, they, they probably learned that at an early age, they are probably just naturally good at it. <coughs> Some people are naturally good at math. I'm not one of them. Okay, that doesn't mean, just because an Asian doesn't mean I'm supposed to, everyone's different. You can't just assume because he's of that certain race, that person would be good at things. That'd be like saying, that'd be like saying, the same is like, That'd be like saying the same as like a Hispanic person, you know, being good at picking fruit or being good at mowing the lawn because they always, <laughs> because they always, because you see them doing it. That's not okay to say. Like, <laughs> as true as that may be, that's not okay to say. You say that, somebody's gonna, you, you know, you're not gonna make very many, you're not gonna make very many friends with it. Same thing. It's not okay to say somebody's good at math because they're a certain race. I agree, George. <laughs> Have you had any changes in your experience here on campus since that incident occurred? What do you mean by like changes? I mean, have people either treated you worse than that person has in that math class, or have they been treating you better since that situation occurred? I think the fact that I'm <laughs> ignoring... <laughs> I think the fact that I'm ignoring those things that people say, I just kind of don't listen to it. I think that's probably what's made it better. In the sense that, you know, if I worry about it, people are always going to be mean to you if you just let those people 
and I lead your life. You know, to worry about the things that are more important, not somebody who says, oh, well, you're good at you're supposed to be good at math, and you're not, or like, just people that, if people talk to you, be mean to you, and you care about it, then that's when things get worse. You learn to just let it be, unless, of course, <laughs> it is a very serious instance, unless, uh, unless this person really discriminates you, like, pretty badly, like, takes it pretty far out. Uh, pretty far talk about your family or like just, you know, your if it takes it beyond just being good at math and that kind of thing, you know, it's gonna change. But for the most part I will let it be. People are mean to me, they discriminate. Fine. If you do what you want, if that's how you feel like it's okay, cool. As far as I'm concerned, it's I've let it be and I'm fine. How do you view yourself right now? What do you mean by how do I be like the other? How do you feel about yourself? Um, think about that situation that occurred to you in math, and um, how do you view yourself now in terms of how you grew maybe from that experience, or um, did your self view change after that person said those things to you? I think. Um, I think. After that situation happened, I I can't I can't say I really I mean I've learned a couple of things from it you know people are always gonna be rude you know some people are gonna say the mean things to you I kind of learned that but as far as you know but as far as did I really learn anything that really meant anything to me not really you know I still haven't changed much that wasn't that instance wasn't the reason that caused me to ultimately be who I am now. Um, you know, that wasn't the reason why. Um, you know, hi. But I will say that I have learned definitely. I mean, I, I mean, a lot of people are mean. I kind of now understand that they're always going to be if you think about it. But it didn't change me. Okay, and um. Would you like to share anything else about that situation? No, thank you. Okay. Um, last question. Have you ever taken a race studies class? No, and I have not. Oh, oh, okay then. Well, anyway, that concludes the interview. Thank you very much, George. Thank you.